Hello everyone, it's Alana. Thanks for coming to hang out with me and if you are new here, welcome, welcome. In this video, I am going to be taking you guys along as I write in my planner all week long. So let's go ahead and get started. So I get a lot of requests for after the pen posts and videos and things like that. So I thought I would start a thing where I do like a plan along with me video at the end of every month. So since this is the last week in January, I thought I would have you guys come along with me while I plan this week. So right now it is Monday morning. Normally I would do like my meal plan and a couple of for sure to do's for the week in my planner on Sunday evening, but I had a super busy Sunday yesterday, so I'm not getting around to writing in my planner until Monday morning. But the first thing I'm going to do is start with our meal plan. Um, I already did a meal plan Monday and a shop with me, so you guys may have seen what my meal plan is for the week, but now that I know for sure I have all of the ingredients available to me that I wanted for our meals for the week, I'm going to make it official by putting it in my planner. So some of you may already know that for my meal planning for our family, I do a flex meal plan. So I do write down different dinner ideas on specific days of the week on our meal planner. Like here, I'll just show you like this paper pack from the Happy Planner. I do write it in the days of the week, but it is a flex meal plan. So if on one day something comes up and I don't have enough time to dedicate like cooking a bigger dinner, I will just swap it around for like something that's easier to cook. So I put them on specific days, but I'm flexible about exactly what day we eat what for what dinner. Okay, so I have that written down. Next, I'm gonna do my to-do list for today, our vet appointment for tomorrow, and then I think that's all that I have so far. You guys may know that for my catch-all planner, I do a combination of like to-dos and appointments and checklists in addition to just journaling a little bit about our day. I've always planned that way and I like planning that way, so I'm gonna keep planning that way. <laughs> so yeah, just a quick to-do list and then our appointment for tomorrow. Okay, so there's all of that, and then I do have some errands to run on Thursday or Friday, but I feel like putting them here with the sticker that says the best day is kind of silly because going to the bank and the grocery store is not necessarily the best day. <laughs> so I don't know. I might, I might write them in there or I'll just write them directly onto Friday. We'll see. But so far, this is all that I need on my planner for right now, and then when I check in with you guys tomorrow, you will see... Um, the little like note about our day or whatever that I wrote in there and then anything else that we have going on for tomorrow. Also, if you're like, didn't you just do a shop with me and get paper towels and coffee cream marijuana? Yes, yes, I did. But this is puppy life <laughs> and puppy life, puppy, puffy. I am getting puffy. Puppy life requires lots of paper towels and lots of coffee creamer, you guys. Lots and lots. <laughs> okay, so that's all for today and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Happy Tuesday, friends. How is everyone? I hope you guys are off to a good start with your week. I am still exhausted, still not sleeping at all, <laughs> but um, I did take Chance to the vet this morning and he was so good and so brave and he got a perfect clean bill of health and the vet said that we are doing a great job taking care of him um, and making sure that he is getting the nutrients that he needs and of course loving on him like crazy. So it is all worth it. I'm so glad to hear that he is perfectly healthy and growing and thriving. Um, if you didn't know, if you missed the explanation for that, he is from a litter of puppies that was entirely rejected by the mama. She didn't reject them because of anything wrong with them. She rejected them because she had a complicated labor, labor of the puppies and she had to go in for emergency surgery. And when she came out of that emergency surgery, she didn't want to have anything to do with her puppies. So that's why we got him early and that's why he's being bottle fed and taken care of and all that good stuff. So yeah, he did great. It went so well. Um, they have a thing set up at our vet where... You can't go inside, obviously, because of COVID and the veterinary clinic rooms, like the exam rooms, are so tiny. It would be all of us crammed in there, like the vet, 
the technicians, myself. So to keep everybody safe, they just have you drive up and call when you get there and then they come out and get your baby and take him inside and you're just sitting there waiting and wondering. <laughs> but he did good. He was brave and they are so pleased with him and his little personality. So that was hard for mama. I sat there and just like panicked the whole time. <laughs> um, so that was the big thing that I was stressing about. That's over and done with. Um, and he's really good. So um, yesterday my husband ran the errands for me and got all the things that I needed, which is, I just love him. And then I got the laundry done and my planner room tidied and <laughs> the floors mopped, but hello puppy life. They're going to need to be mopped again. Um, we did have the sausage and peppers for dinner, but not on rice. We had it on mashed potatoes. You guys, mashed potatoes and gravy or just mashed potatoes and butter. Mashed potatoes and mashed potatoes are my favorite meal. I could eat mashed potatoes every meal of the day. I love them so much. So yeah, that was our Monday and then Tuesday morning, the vet. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, sorry, what else happened this morning? Um, the boys did great in school. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. The Weather is nice here right now. The sun is shining, as you can see, but we were supposed to get a whole bunch of snow tonight, so I don't know about that. Um, let's see. Okay, and then they requested um, breakfast burritos for lunch. So mama's going to make those. Um, I have to make a phone call to family. And then tonight is date night. So let me grab a sticker for that. I'm going to put that right down here. Um, Nate and I are watching The Expanse. The brand new episodes come out every week, every Tuesday, and we are watching it. And it is like one of my favorite shows of all time. I just, I love it so much. I'm obsessed with it. Um, let me know if any of you watch it at all. I know like the internet right now is like The Crown, Bridgerton, all of the, you know, those things. And I'm like, are there wars in space? Like, is that a thing that's happening in these shows? Because if there is space or war or a space war, <laughs> is there an alien? Then I'm on board for that. So yeah, I'm obsessed with sci-fi, if you didn't know. So yeah, Nate and I have been watching The Expanse, all new episodes, and I think there's only like two episodes left in the season, tonight's episode and then next week's episode. So I don't know what I'm going to do without it. I guess I will just like wait until Lost in Space the next season comes out. Yeah, just space. I need, I need space, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all. Um, I leave a spot on date night to write about the episode because they're just like, I'm blown away every time. They're so amazing. Um, and then... I do have my errands to do over here, so uh, I guess I'll use that sticker. Well, no. I'm going to wait and maybe try some lettering. I really need to practice my lettering, you guys. So that's all for now. I will check in with you tomorrow, and then this will be a bit more filled in, and we will see what the drama with tonight's episode was. <laughs> so happy Tuesday, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, friends. How is everyone today? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Um, it's Wednesday, and here's what I did. I wrote in my planner without thinking about it, without filming. <laughs> um, it just I had my planner in front of me when the kids were doing school this morning, and I just started writing. You know, it's a habit. So I didn't film, but I thought I would still go over with you guys. Um, oh, excuse me. Choking. <laughs> um... So yeah, it, it was just kind of like a habit. I wasn't even thinking about it. The lack of sleep is like catching up with me. It has been catching up with me, but now it's to the point where I'm like, I'm not just exhausted. I'm also not feeling the best. So, um, okay. So the kids had a great day in school and let's see, the expanse was freaking amazing last night. It was so good. 
Um, I love our date nights and I love hanging out with my husband and I love space shows. Sci-fi is where it's at. (laughs) So that was really good. Um, And then Marie posted her interview over on Instagram this morning. Hi, Marie. You guys, Marie is the sweetest. If you don't follow Marie on Instagram, follow her. She's just, she is the nicest, sweetest. I just, I love her. So she is doing an interview series within the planner community. She's going to be interviewing planners and posting, I think it's the last Wednesday of every month, she said. So she featured me today. (laughs) And, um, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not that interesting, but bless her. (laughs) Um, so yeah, check her out. And then if you want to get to know new people in the planner community, if you want to learn new things about people in the planner community, follow Marie. Also just follow Marie because she's awesome. It's Marie Wednesday, you guys. (laughs) Okay. And then I did my errands list over here. I have a lot to do on Friday. Um, so yeah, just if, but like quick in and out, um, of grocery stores. And then we did have this for dinner last night. We were having, um, chicken wraps and veggies for dinner tonight. Let's see. I want to research some tea. So here's what, here's what I'm doing for the month of January for just one January. I did just one month without soda and I have nailed it. I have not had any soda whatsoever so far this month. I mean, 27 days in, I'm pretty confident at this point that I can keep going, but into February, I want to continue cutting back on sugar even more. So I would like to have less coffee. I'm not giving up on coffee. Like how this is funny, Alana research tea and then coffee bar ideas. Um, I'm not giving up coffee though, like not at all, but I really want to include more tea. And then I also want to have like a nighttime routine because you guys may be able to guess, but I'm kind of like a wound up person (laughs) and it's really difficult for me to get to sleep even when we didn't have a baby puppy in the house. So I want to get like a nighttime routine going for myself and I would like to have like some sort of like caffeine free like bedtime tea um, as part of my routine. So I've been researching and um, I'm leaning towards getting some David's tea, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. So I'm going to research that a little bit more. And then I'm also looking at coffee bar ideas. If you guys missed when I did my um, household projects and productivity plan, the extension pack that I did for this planner, I talked about um, organization and um, like decluttering and things like that. And I have a do this to get that system. And so I'm going to declutter our pantry and declutter our kitchen like cupboards and drawers just because... Um, you know, like over the years, we've lived in this house for four years now, and there's just like some utensils and small appliances and things like that, that just do not get used often enough to keep them around. And it's starting to kind of build up. So I'm going to declutter all of those things, get rid of some things, and then I'm going to put a coffee bar in my dining room. I'm very excited about that. You can have tea in a coffee bar too. So we're good. We're good. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, oh, I've got to go to Winco and Tractor Supply for more puppy stuff. And I think, I think we're good for today. And then, of course, I will write like a little journal note about our evening, but there's not a whole lot going on in the evenings for us right now. I'm going to bed very early. That's, that's pretty much what I do. I go to bed super early and try to get some sleep in between the puppy's waking hours. But I have been watching... Is it Julie's plans or plans with Julie? It's something about a girl named Julie and her plans. (laughs) And she is delightful. Not a happy planner, but you know what? I love the whole planner community like entirely. And I love her style and I love her personalities. So she's great. You, You guys might be aware of her already, but if you're not, check her out. I adore her. She does not know I exist and that's totally fine. But in my mind... She's my friend. <laughs> okay, so I that's all, you guys. I guess I will check in with you tomorrow. I hope you are all having a beautiful, wonderful, happy week. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday Eve, you guys. I am so looking forward to Friday and the weekend and hopefully catching up on some sleep. Oh my gosh. So 
Let's see what's going on. It has been a busy day already so far. I got some happy mail, so I'm pretty excited. I had the best day sticker on here, and you know what? Yes, it's pretty awesome. I got happy mail. Very exciting. I got um, some squad box things from the Happy Planner and my sticker order from Marielle, her Whimsy Lux store. You may know her as Mom and a Girl with Plans. She makes the cutest stickers, and I got them in the mail today, and I am so super excited. Okay, and then also the eye doctor called, and I need to go pick up my contacts tomorrow. So that's exciting. I have not had contacts in like five or six years, so I'm looking forward to not getting contacts, but I am looking forward to sunglasses options again. One thing about committing to glasses and then having prescription sunglasses is you're just stuck with your prescription sunglasses, and I've had no other options for a couple of years now other than that one pair, so I'm looking forward to getting contacts, and then getting sunglasses. These are the things that are exciting when you are old and a mom and wear bifocals. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is going on. Um, I put this the best here, so I'm going to put a fun little thing. Um, the puppy is kind of finding his personality this week, and he is being so silly and so lively and he is chasing the boys around the living room and he does this little thing where he thinks he is so much bigger than he is so he thinks that he can just hop up onto the couch with us it yeah he he's he's so tiny but he thinks he's so much bigger it's very cute um so i'm just going to write that Okay, and then I have one errand to do this evening, and then tomorrow I'm probably not going to get to all these places. I'm probably on a, only going to get to Fred Meyer's and then to pick up my contacts because it's so far out of the way that it eats up a whole bunch of my time. So I think that... Target and Michaels and Hobby Lobby are going to have to wait until this weekend. So yeah, I think that's all that's going on. Exciting Happy Mail and some errands and some puppy fun. And then I have a lot to film this weekend. So I will probably finish this up with you guys tomorrow or on Saturday and then get it posted on Sunday. And then this coming Monday is going to be my Ask Me Anything, my AMA video. And you guys sent some awesome questions. So I'm really looking forward to answering those and getting that filmed and posted for you guys. So I think that is all for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful Thursday or I hope you had a wonderful Thursday because it's over by the time you see this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. TGIF you guys, it is Friday. I am so excited. Let's see, what did I do today and what do I still need to do? Um, I don't even remember what happened last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to bed early again. I went to bed early, watched a couple of planner YouTube videos in bed, and prayed for sleep that never came, <laughs> basically. Um, the puppy is getting better. He, well, he's learned to bite, so that's a thing. Um, but he's getting a little bit better about sleeping. I think it's just now I have mom brain, so I'm concerned. So he's sleeping, but I'm awake worrying that he's going to wake up. <laughs> that That's a thing. <sighs> okay. So yesterday was happy mail. Very, very exciting. Um, I made a spread today using Marielle's stickers and you guys, I cannot wait for you to see it. Well, you'll have seen it by the time. Okay. So you'll have seen it by the time this video goes up. I'm pretty sure. I think so. Anyway, very exciting stuff. I love her stickers so much. They're so cute. And then today I was only able to 
pick up my contacts and run to the grocery store because it's so far out of the way and I didn't have time to go anywhere else. So maybe this weekend, um, it was a good day. It was a busy day. Something exciting. Ooh, you guys, are you ready for this? Very big, exciting. Ta-da! <laughs> I treated myself to a mask and scrunchy set at the store this morning. This is life, you guys. This is joy now when you find, and it was on clearance. There were two, it was $2, $2, and they had a whole ton of them, like all different colors and patterns. Of course, I got like charcoal gray. I'm not into the, the whole fun colors and patterns thing really, but yeah, this, this was my treat for the day. This was, <laughs> okay, so let's see what else. Um, tonight is going to be, um, date night. I did make. So I made homemade pizza for dinner, sort of. I made like homemade pizza pockets. So basically like individual handheld pizzas. So that was fun. Um, and the kiddos really enjoyed that. It's like pizza, but in a new way. That was fun. And then we are going to have date night tonight. And Nate and I are going to rent a movie so I'm looking forward to that if I can stay awake. <laughs> okay, so yeah, date night. I will write about our movie after we watch it. Gosh, I rem wish I could remember what happened <laughs> last night. Um, Yeah, I think I just, I keep writing in here. Went to bed early, went to bed early. <laughs> I thought I had you guys like on a more exciting week to watch this. And apparently I didn't. Oh, wait, I can highlight... Winco and Tractor Supply because that got done. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I guess I will just up update you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be filming my Q&A, um, Ask Me Anything video. I'm really excited about that. And then I will probably wrap this up tomorrow because Sunday is my like digital detox day and I'm going to have like a personal day, maybe get some reading done, some cleaning and organizing so yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Happy Friday, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. See, happy Saturday, friends. See, hi. Happy Saturday. <laughs> this is why mama doesn't sleep. Huh. Say hello. I thought we would take just a quick puppy break to say hi. A lot of you have been asking to see him, so I thought now would be a good time. He's in a good mood and awake. <laughs> so I thought he could say hi to you guys. Okay, and now for some plans. Isn't he just the cutest though, you guys? I love him so much, that sweet little face. It's worth not sleeping ever, ever at all. <laughs> Okay, let's see. It's Saturday. What's going on? Oh, date night last night. We did not rent a movie because we didn't think that we would stay awake through the whole length of a movie, but we did watch Dinosaurs on Disney+. Plus. You guys, do you remember that show? Not to Mama. <laughs> I love it so much. It doesn't... It doesn't age well. It's not as amazing as I remember as a kid, but it was still pretty fun to watch it. So I'm going to write that. Um, Nate and I watch that. Yes, we watched it for our date night after the kids went to bed. <laughs> And you guys, I totally have um, fur and puppy slobber on my sweater now. Please forgive me. Um, let's see. That is not, that is not cute printing. That's not cute. <laughs> okay, so today, you guys, I did it. I went ahead and ordered the table for my coffee bar. Um... I'm very excited. I'm putting in a coffee bar in my dining room and I cannot wait. So if you missed when I did my um, household projects and productivity extension pack for this planner, I have a do this to get that kind of thing going on. I might have even mentioned it in this video. It's been 
it's been a week. So I'm, I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but I am cle completing some household projects, some kitchen and pantry projects um, in the first week of February. And then my coffee bar table is supposed to deliver between the 8th and the 12th. So I have that whole period of time for the first week of February to complete my productivity projects. And that way I can reward myself and be pleased with putting in my coffee bar after already having completed those goals and projects. Okay, so let's see. Very excited about that. I also ordered some animal print pants for myself. That's a first. <laughs> I don't know if it's the lack of sleep that motivated my shopping excursion today, but I ordered some animal print pants off of Amazon. So, yeah. Also, I guess there's like some weird... Okay, here's a whole story, you guys. There's some like weird sizing, I guess, with these pants in particular. They're just women's and they're like joggers, like almost like thin sweatpants. They're not anything fancy. But anyway, it's said to take a survey to figure out what size you should order because their sizing is a little bit different. So I took this whole survey about my height and my body type and my shape and my hips and on and on, like unnecessary stuff. Anyway, it gets to the end and it was like, we're sorry, we were unable to select a size for your body type. <laughs> Like, way to make a girl feel like an alien or something, right? It's like you answer all these questions and then they're like, we, we, got, we got nothing for you. <laughs> Maybe it was like a sign, like, Alana, don't order these animal print pants. Just, just walk away. I ordered them anyways. Okay, <laughs> so that's the whole story. All right, what else happened? Um, Let's see. I... I don't know. I had a productive day. I did lots of filming today. There's lots of fun videos coming. Oh, I did my nails. That was fun. Um, I'm just going to highlight these things just for something. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang it. I didn't wait for that to dry. Oh, well. Okay, and then we are doing lasagna for dinner. We are not doing breakfast for dinner because we did breakfast for breakfast. <laughs> so I, the kiddos wanted like this whole like sausage casserole thing. So I made that for, kind of for like brunch today. So we are doing lasagna um, in the crock pot for dinner instead. Okay, so that's pretty much all for that. And tomorrow, like I said, is going to be like a digital detox day for me. I will still post one thing on my Instagram and upload to YouTube. But basically, when I say digital detox day, it means that I am not on any devices at all. And I focus on my house and my family and maybe catching up on some reading and things like that. So I just don't worry about what's going on on social media at all or like anything any kind of digital input. So I'm going to wrap this up here because I'm not really going to have anything to put in for tomorrow, but I am going to do, let's see, the um, Go Offline sticker pack has some um, like relax and busy doing nothing stickers. So I think I'm going to, yeah, I'll probably do that one. So let's see, I'll put relax Right up here just like this and busy doing nothing right here just like that 
Thank you guys so much for coming along with me for this plan along with me week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is a little bit long, but I get a lot of requests for these, so I thought that I would finally go ahead and do one. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to let me know. That way I know to keep doing these. Um, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of small clips that I will have to put together and edit all into one compilation. But if you guys really enjoy these and you want to keep seeing them, then I will for sure do that. My plan right now was to do um, an after the pen plan along with me for the last week of every month. So I'll close out the month with one of these, like a plan along with me as I go video. And then after that, I can do a flip through of the whole month and what the whole month looked like in my planner. But only if you guys are interested. So definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments if it's something that you want to continue seeing. So that's all for this plan along with me. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you would so we can hang out in future videos just like this one. So I'm going to leave you here, guys. Tell your dog I said hi. Bye, everyone.